Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. We're looking at the area of a triangle, and not just any triangle, a non-right angle triangle, one where we, where we don't have the perpendicular height. Now we know that of a right angle triangle, um, or where we have the perpendicular height, it's half times the base times the height. Now, unfortunately, for a non-right angle triangle, we can't use that. So we use this formula, half times A times B, times sine c. I'm not going to bother showing you where the formula comes from. You can look at one of my other lessons where I've done that. We're just going to use that rule because we're given that in our uh, in our formula sheet and we're going to um, sort of use that. A couple of things to note. Okay, angle A side A, angle B side B, angle C side C. Now what you'll notice if I'm looking for, si if I'm using sine c, so let's put our theta where sine c is, what you might notice is A, B are the sides adjacent to that angle okay and that has to happen every time in order to use that particular rule for example if I was looking for angle A and trying to find that angle I'd have to use B and C instead of A and B okay sounds complicated it's actually really easy let's have a look at an example find the area of the triangle to the nearest square centimeter no perpendicular height so I'm going to write down half AB sine C Okay, now 36 degrees is my angle, and what you'll be able to notice there, that I've got the side 20 and the side 32, which are both adjacent to 36, so that works out perfectly for us. Half times 20 times 32 times sine 36, and now it's a matter of just chucking that into my calculator to get 188.09 dot 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 to the nearest square centimetre, 188 centimetres squared. Look, for most of the questions, that is it. Okay, it doesn't get hugely more challenging. I'm going to show you two other questions just in case they pop up. Um, this one hasn't got a diagram, so that's going to probably be the first step is to be drawing a non right angled triangle. It says a triangle has an angle of 129 degrees, so 129 degrees and 56 minutes, with one arm being 15 centimetres and one arm we are looking for. It does tell us that the area of this particular triangle is going to be 69.94. All right, so it's kind of like an equation question. So we know the rule is half a b sine c. So the area in this case we're given, so we can put that in. We've got half times A, so we can put 15, times B, we can put that as X, times sine, 129 degrees and 56 minutes. Alrighty, so you can see this is a bit of an equation. So basically what I need to do, I need to somehow get rid of the times a half, the times 15, and the times sine 129 degrees 56 minutes. Now you might do that a range of different ways. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to write x equals, I'm going to divide 69.94 by all of that. A half times 15 times sine 129 degrees and 56 minutes. I mean you might just do that calculation on the right hand side first, get your answer and then divide it across. You might divide it by a half first, get your answer, then divide it by 15 and then divide it by sine 129 to 6 degrees. It really doesn't matter which way you do that. It just depends on, I guess, on what you prefer um, with your uh, equations. Um, as long as you do it one of those uh, correct three methods. So I'm going to chuck that into my calculator now and making sure again I'm using sine and I'm entering the right numbers in. Hopefully I am. And then I press equals and we get 12 point or x equals 12.16 says to the nearest centimeter. Therefore, x equals 12 centimeters. And I've got my missing side. Again, you could probably check your answer by chucking in the 12 there and doing half times 12 times 15 times one, sine 129 to 56 degrees. And hopefully you get the answer close enough to 69.94. Um, the last question, guys, I really want to go through. I've just made this one up. Um, I see questions like this all the time. They are the hardest style of these questions because it's not just simply using the area rule. The reason for that, okay, area equals half a b sine c. Now, we know that 
the angle that we're using must be the included angle. Problem here, I've got 10 and I've got 8, but I don't have the angle inside of there. That's a bit of an issue for me. I can't use Sokotoa to find that. I can't use sine rule to find that particular angle because, you know, my sine rule, I don't have the opposite side. We don't know what that's going to be. So that doesn't work. Um, cosine rule doesn't work anyway either. You know, it just doesn't match up because in that case, the sine rule, yeah, it's just not going to, the cosine rule, sorry, um, it just isn't really going to work because I would need to know what this side's going to be if I'm using this angle and it just doesn't really match up. So what am I going to do? I can't use for that particular angle. I can't find using Sokotoa, using sine, using cosine. So what could I use using cosine? Or sine, should I say. Sine I like. I like sine the best. Well, I have got a side and I could possibly find this angle here. I've got a side and I've got another angle. So we could in fact use the sine rule like this. Sine theta over 10 equals sine 50 over 8. Now what that will allow me to do is to find this angle in the right hand corner. So I'm going to times by 10 across there. I'm going to put it into my calculator, remembering that you're going to get a small number because you're finding what sine theta is, not what theta is. So we're going to have to do a shift sign at the end of all this. But I'm going to chuck that in, I get 0 0.957. I'm going to press shift sign on my answer key. We get theta equals uh, 73 degrees, and I'm just do it to the nearest minute, now, uh, nearest degree. So I get approximately 73 degrees here. Now I'm going to actually keep the answer in my calculator for the next calculation. So actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually write that out. We should always round at the end and not early because that can get you further away from the answer. So let's just write it all out. Now I've used this angle inside here. So how is that going to help me because I don't know what this side is. So I still can't use the area rule. What I can do is now using angle sum of a triangle equals 180 degrees. I'm going to say 180, subtract 50 degrees, subtract this 73.246 dot dot dot, and I'm going to be left with this angle inside here, we'll call that beta. So 180, take away 50, take away the answer to that last one, I get 56.7531422 So that's what this angle is here. I can now use the area rule. Area equals half times 8 times 10 times sine 56.753 dot dot dot. I'm just going to use my answer key in my calculator. So half times 8 times 10 times sine of my answer key, I get an area of 33.45 centimeters squared, which equals to 33 centimeters squared to the nearest square centimeter. That's quite challenging. You might get a question there where you have to use the cosine rule um, to find the missing side as well. There are different things that you can use, um, but that's a more challenging question, probably the hardest area question you would come across. So it's not just straightforward. Um, look, I hope you made a bit of sense out of that last one in particular, but for the most part, it's pretty easy. You just got to practice it. Um, stay awesome, guys, and uh, any help you need, let me know.